Fulkerson, and you are watching FCN, where we keep you up to date on the events coming up for this month. The Louisville Zoo is bringing their annual lantern show back in a whole new light. Wild lights around the world will include different lantern exhibits of places like Japan or Germany. We sent Jude Harrison to the Louisville Zoo to show us what this magnificent light show has to offer. I'm Jude Harrison reporting for FCN, and I'm here at the Louisville Zoo, and we're taking an inside look at the wild lights exhibit. The Wild Lights exhibit at the Louisville Zoo is one of the largest light shows in the nation. During the day, the zoo is full of lively animals, but as the sun starts to set and the animals go to bed, the lights turn on and really come to life. But what makes these lights really pop? Metal sculptures surrounded in silk and then illuminated from within by 50,000 LED light bulbs. So it's a, it's a feast for your eyes. Uh these amazing silk lanterns take you through the zoo and around the world with animals and architecture from all over the globe. Wild lights are the perfect place to go with family or friends as there are many photo opportunities and you can enrich yourself with culture from six different continents. Wild lights will be at the zoo March 10th through May 20th on Thursdays through Sundays. The event begins at 6.30 and tickets can be purchased for $20 online at louisvillezoo.org. Louisville Zoo's Wild Lights Around the World is to start March 10th and go until May 21st. This is sure to be a fantastic time with friends and family that you won't want to miss. We strongly encourage you to buy some tickets at louisvillezoo.org. The Waterfront Botanical Gardens is hoping to put in a new Japanese garden in the near future. They want this to be a place where people can go to escape everyday life and just relax. This garden will also be used as a way to get kids like us to appreciate plants in a new way. However, they need our help. If you want to see this garden become a reality, go to waterfrontgardens.org to become a sponsor or to donate. If you don't know where to go for dinner, we strongly suggest Joe Huber's Family Farm. They have just recently reopened their doors on March 2nd and are already starting to get busy. They will now officially be opened Thursdays through Sundays from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. To book your next reservation, contact 812-923-5255 and they will get you in. Again, that's 812-923-5255. Bill 1608, otherwise known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, has just recently passed its third reading in the House of Representatives. This bill states that a school staff member or a third party vendor that the school has hired cannot give any instruction to a kindergarten through third grader on human sexuality. If a child does prefer to go by a different name or pronoun, a parent or legal guardian has to have a written request that has to be turned in at the beginning of the school year. This bill has sparked a feud between lawmakers and citizens. Parents and students of the LGBTQ community protested saying that a child can be whoever they choose to be and that the bill is dehumanizing. But on the other side of things, lawmakers say that a child doesn't know fully what they want to be at such a young age. Rather this bill continues or gets denied, we are sure to hear more about this in the following weeks. Greenville is looking for some student volunteers. They need help running stations for their reading rodeo on March 16th. If you are interested, send an email to amattingly at nafcs.org to sign up. They would greatly appreciate your help. There's nothing like a good book on a nice day. Speaking of which, let's take a look at this week's forecast.
After a couple of cold weeks, the weather is finally starting to look up for us. Wednesday, we have a high of 50 and a low of 41, and it's going to be partly sunny but mostly cloudy. And then Thursday, we're looking at cloudy with a high of 49 and a low of 34. Friday, it's cloudy again with a high of 51 and a low of 36. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy once again with a high of 52 and a low of 33. And then Sunday, the sun starts coming out a little bit more. We're going to have partly sunny again with a high of 50 and a low of 28. And then on Monday, m partly sunny again, 45 with a low of 23. And then Tuesday, we're finally getting some sunshine with a high of 42 and a low of 26. Stay tuned after this break for sports. <laughs> Highlander spring sports are just starting up as the fall ones come to a close, so let's take a closer look. Swimming is in the state tournament, so let's dive in. The Highlanders are looking to make a splash this year as they, as they have already won sectionals, making it eight straight titles for the Highlander swim team. Girls tennis season is just starting and the Highlanders are looking to continue on an impressive run last year. Key players this year are going to include athletes including Libby Bannett and Millie Muner. Led by first-year coach Matthew Goss, the season may be an indicator of future seasons. Coach Goss gave us his input on his hopes for the season. I'm really excited to get him out on the courts and hit tennis balls. Um, but I have high expectations and I'm very excited to get it started. Color guard requires a lot of work with all the different dance techniques and then you add equipment such as sabers, rifles, and flags. Floyd Central's varsity program has been ranked 6th in state with scores of 64 all the way up to 74 with their winter show, It's Snowing. They have made it through prelims and are going to semi-state this weekend to see if they can qualify for state finals. We were able to get an interview with senior Ava Kruer, who has been in the program for six years now, about her thoughts on the team this year. Um, I think we've improved a lot, especially compared to last year. Um, last year we just weren't where we needed to be at all to the point where we're just not going to WGI finals this year. Um, but I think our show is really good this year. Boys Volleyball is getting ready to perform on the hardwood. They're hoping to net quite a few victories this year with standout athletes like Jude Harrison and Logan Piper. That's going to do it for our sports. London, back to you. Not sure how to spend your weekends? Try the New Albany Farmer's Market. They have everything from soap to farm fresh vegetables and some delicious cobbler and macaroons. You will be greeted by tons of friendly vendors to help you find exactly what you're looking for. The farmer's market is always a great place to go with friends and family to have a great time. If you're not doing anything, we strongly suggest going to the farmer's market. Lazy Sundays is growing closer to their opening day. They are known for their amazing staff, delicious food, and above all, their ice cream. However, they are in need of staff to work their morning shifts. If you are interested in applying, go to their Facebook to find the application form. If you have any further questions, call 812-399-1151 for more information. From all of us here at FCN, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>